Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing well and having a great day and a great week even. In this video, this video I would like to talk about just some basic stuff. So hopefully this will help out some new miners and uh, just, just hopefully some of you guys just to help you give some understanding to what type of um, algorithms are good on certain GPUs. Um, I guess like AMD or NVIDIA cards and each brand has its strong points uh, in terms of which algorithm algorithm they're mining so we're gonna go through and I'll show you guys examples of, of AMD cards and NVIDIA cards and just to give you guys some some perspective and information of uh, what algorithms are good for certain cards because I've been getting those que I've been getting the question uh, a bunch of questions like recently asking Red Panda what what algorithm or what coin should I be mining on my RX 570 or should I or another person will ask uh, Red Panda what should I mine on my GTX 1070 Ti can I mine Ethereum on it or can I mine Monero on my 1070 Ti so these are questions I'm going to answer and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and use what to mine for these examples because uh, what to mine is, is fairly good at showing which coin and which um, algorithm is most profitable. Um, so really, this is this is only if you are wanting to sell your coins daily or weekly or monthly, or you just want to calculate you just want to calculate by mining the most profitable coin, um, then use what to mine. But if you would like to mine the coin that you like. Uh, then I, I wouldn't even use what to mine. I would just just go ahead and mine the coin that you like and you shouldn't have to care about the profitability or the algorithm uh, that you're mining. But uh, in this video, I'm just going to showcase which are the strongest algorithms uh, based on profitability on uh, different cards here. So we'll go through it together. Okay, so we're going to start with AMD cards. AMD cards I'm just going to say right now are strong suited for ETH, Ethereum, like ETH hash algorithms, uh, Kryptonite algorithms, and some Lyra 2 Rev 3 algorithms um, as of as of making this video. So let's 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 get into it. The, basically those three. Um, and for you newcomers, you'll be like, oh, there's only three different algorithms. Well. If we compare the NVIDIA cards, NVIDIA has a bunch more algorithms because th those cards are a lot more versatile. Uh, NVIDIA cards are a lot more graphical. Uh, their, their, their architecture or chip design is just more graphical for more graphical workloads. And then AMD cards are more for compute workloads. Uh, so for example, RX 570 guys, we're going to go for a very staple, very, very uh, popular video card on the market for mining is a RX 570, four gigabyte or eight gigabyte edition. And you click, you click on just one, we're just going to show one in this example. And you can see around ETH hash gets around 28. I, I would say I would bump this up to 30 mega hash, but for the sake of this example, I'm just going to leave it to whatever, what to mine shows. And then you'll see Kryptonite V8. 730 hashes and kryptonite R around 730. I think you can bump this up to 800 if you'd want if you'd like. And then Lyra 2 Rev 3 gets around 30 to 35 uh, mega hash on Lyra 2 Rev 3 algorithm. Okay, then you'll want to enter in your cost per kilowatt hour. Um, actually before I begin the video, I would just like to say on most cards if you have up to or I, I guess the if you have 20 cents per kilowatt hour, you are still somewhat profitable, okay? So anything lower than that in electrical prices, you are profitable. So take note of that for new miners. Okay, so I'm just, for ex for these examples, I'm just gonna do 10 cents per kilowatt hour as the average. Okay, so an RX 570, just one. Right now, as of making this video, you can see that HANA coin is the number one coin for profitability. It makes about 41 cents after your electrical price. Uh, but if you had free electricity, you would be making about 70 cents USD a day mining HANA coin. And that's if you sold on Crypto Bridge. Uh, you'd be making about 746 uh, HANA coin a day, which is a lot, I guess. Or no, sorry, 311. Uh, there's some mix up here. I think this is kind of... Uh, yeah, sometimes what to mine kind of glitches out. but. 
And then as you can see, you can see some other algorithms, other coins here. There's nice hash, but it says ETH hash algorithm. So, okay, so this is the one of the popular algorithms for AMD cards. Um, Ethereum Classic is here, one of the top 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 coins to mine on a RX 570. Again, that's ETH hash algorithm. Uh, Metaverse, also ETH hash algorithm. Ethereum, ETH hash algorithm. Callisto, ETH hash algorithm. Expanse, ETH hash algorithm. You guys, you guys can see uh, a, a trend here, right? Um, I'll keep going down. Conceal, you know, it's a kryptonite algo. Sumo coin, kryptonite R. Um, Ubik, Ubik hash. Uh, that's kind of like an ETH hash algorithm. Uh, Monero, there's kryptonite R, which is kryptonite algorithm. And uh, Lyra 2 Rev 3, which is for vert coin. So you, you, can see, you can see on this list here that ETH hash and kryptonite and Lyra, Rev, Lyra 2 Rev 3 somewhat are popular on the RX 570 okay let's go to a let's say a Radeon 7 let's let's check out a Radeon 7 you see here it's got uh, 2700 hashes 2800 on kryptonite R and 78 on ETH hash hit calculate at 10 cents a kilowatt hour again it's an AMD card okay AMD card we got HANA coin uh, ETH hash, Conceal, Ethereum Classic, Metaverse, Ethereum. So all the same coins as the RX 570, basically. Uh, all these all these coins are the same architecture as the uh, same brand, sorry, as the, the 570, uh, 580, Vega 56, Vega 64, Radeon 7. All these cards, you're they're all going to show the exact same profitability, mostly. Okay. Uh, now everyone's cards hash rates are going to be different so when you guys do come to whattomine.com I encourage you guys to make sure you enter in your right hash rates and power consumption so that you get the exact profitability uh, in 24 hours of uh, your graphic card specifically. Okay so that's that's a good example of the AMD's, uh, AMD cards okay guys so, so for you newcomers AMD cards are awesome on ETH hash and kryptonite algorithms, okay? Now, NVIDIA, NVIDIA cards, 1050 TIs, 1060s, 1070s, 1070 TIs, 1080, 1080 Ti, uh, 1660 um, RTX cards, okay? Um, for example, let's go to one GTX 1070, okay? Um, let's 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 just take a look here. So ETH hash 30, um, I, okay, before I begin showing you guys, I'm gonna say that the NVIDIA cards are, are strong on Zhash, um, Aeon, Kaku Cycle, Kakaroo 29, Kaka 231, Beam, um, X16R for sure, uh, uh, X25, MTP, Lyra 2 Rev 3. The NVIDIA cards are super versatile uh, because of the, the chip design. Um, it's just it's just more it's just more efficient and Video cards, obviously, they cost a lot more, so you're gonna get uh, depending depending what you want to mine, depending what kind of coin you want to mine, you would have to decide. So, example, GTX 1070, it it mines profitability right now, 78 cents after 10 cents a kilowatt hour. If you had free electricity, you'd be making a dollar 10 a day. So, top coin to mine, A Eternity, Kaku Kaku Cycle is the algorithm. And going down the list, Hana Coin, Lyra 2 Rev 3. As of making this video, I don't think the Hana Coin is going to last that long. Uh, sometimes, what to mine, you know, the profitability always changes every day, guys. So, uh, Bitcoin Z, Z Hash, okay, Z Hash algorithm. Uh, Beam, Equihash. Oh, I forgot to mention, yeah, Equihash is a super strong algorithm on NVIDIA cards. Um, Z Coin, uh, Zal Coin, MTP is the. Um, Algorithm for Zcoin, uh, Zalcash, Zhash algorithm, Grin, uh, Bitcoin Gold. Uh, the, the, there's so Ravencoin. There's so many different algorithms for Nvidia cards, guys. As you can see, the range and the the difference of depending on what coins you're mining is is so much different than AMD. So the Nvidia cards are just really strong on different algorithms. Okay. Um, just showing you that example. Let's go uh, GTX uh, 10, 1080 Ti. Now, depending on your algorithms and coins and cards, you're gonna get different. You're gonna get different profitability depending on your hash rate. So, 
Uh, again, looks like Grin is number one on the 1080 Ti. And you can see all the different coins, different algorithms. Um, let's go, let's go 1660 Ti. One of my favorite coin, one of my favorite cards that I'm planning on getting possibly. Uh, at 10 cents a kilowatt hour, looks like the 1660 Ti as of making this video will make around 80 cents a day after electrical costs and a dollar if you have free electricity. So pretty good card, 1660 Ti, six gigabytes of memory. It's good at Kaku Cycle, Lyra 203, Kakaroo 29, MTP, um, Kakaroo 29S, MTP, X16R, Beam, Zhash, and you can see that Ethereum, <laughs> all the Ethereum ETHash, ETHash algorithms um, were making like 36 cents a day uh, after electricity or 58 cents if you had free electricity. So you can see the difference there on how how much more profitable the other algorithms are, different coins are on for the NVIDIA cards versus the AMD cards. And uh, yeah, so I, I hope this helps some of you guys, uh, I guess, especially for the new miners that have been asking me um, which algorithm is, is good to mine, which is for profitability. And guys, just, just go to use what to mine. It's usually pretty good at giving you the, the gist of which of which coin to mine. It depends on if you're if you're going to calculate by profitability by 24 hours uh, or not. So let me know what you think, guys. Uh, I appreciate all of you so much. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below and this, if this helped you a little bit. I know a lot of I have a lot of uh, veteran miners watching me, so let me know what let me know what I said wrong, guys. I probably said a bunch of stuff wrong. <laughs> Thanks for that and uh, smash the like button, guys. Click the subscribe button, please. I appreciate you guys so much. Please use my affiliate links down below. If you buy anything on Amazon, I get a little kickback, which helps me and helps out the channel for any projects going on in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.